Measles is one of humanity's most contagious viruses, and there are outbreaks happening right now all around the world. Measles is a respiratory illness spread through coughing, sneezing, and contact. Its symptoms can even lead to death. Unvaccinated young children are at the highest risk of getting measles and suffering complications from the virus. Luckily, the world has had an accessible vaccine for almost 60 years. But then, what's the deal with outbreaks happening today? It all comes down to access to vaccines. In an unimmunized community, a single person with measles will infect 90% of the individuals they closely interact with. In a totally susceptible population, it's estimated that a person with measles will infect 12 to 18 other people. But if a community is immunized against measles, then a single case has no one to spread to. So we have a vaccine, and we know we need to use it. Why can't we prevent outbreaks? There are two main issues today. One, the COVID-19 pandemic caused an estimated 40 million children globally to miss a measles vaccine dose as global immunization campaigns were put on hold. Two, vaccine hesitancy is causing whole communities to choose not to vaccinate their children, when vaccination is the best protection against measles. Zimbabwe used to have one of the highest rates of vaccine coverage in sub-Saharan Africa. But for years, local churches have discouraged vaccination, causing widespread vaccine hesitancy. In the last year, there have been at least 700 measles-related deaths. In the United States, there's been a measles outbreak in Ohio, amongst unvaccinated children, leading to dozens of hospitalizations. Afghanistan is running an emergency vaccination drive after more than 400 children have died in just the last year. Globally, in 2021, there were about 9 million measles infections and 128,000 deaths. Despite the two-dose vaccine being 97% effective in preventing serious illness or death, we must immunize all unprotected children, including those that were missed during the COVID-19 pandemic.